Man alive, you know, with all the coverage yesterday of the Game Awards, I thought I was maybe done for the week in terms of, you know, trailers to consume. But, you know, we obviously have Genshin 1.1 or sorry, 1.2 to go over today. And, oh, man, yeah, I just, you know, I'm, I'm very curious to see what this, you know, this border region between Mondstadt and uh, Leeway, you know, looks like. And plus, we got a couple of characters in this trailer as well. I was finally able to get a five star the other day in Genshin. I got Zhongli under the banner and I just got to say he is an awesome replacement for the traveler who I had you know set to the geo element and he just he just you know stepped in and filled his shoes easily and and surpassed him and and I've been hearing a you know a bit of flack about Zongli too you know apparently he's getting a buff in 1.3 or at least that seems to be what's being alluded to by Mihoyo but honestly it's a guy who's you know not super into the meta who just likes you know to travel the world and you know do like the odds and ends of the game and not get super invested in, you know, farming artifacts. Like, I, I really liked Song Lee. So, I mean, you know, I already liked him. You know, I like the way he moves. Like, I like him aesthetically. And now he's getting a buff. So, I guess, you know, win-win for me, right? And for people who are super into the meta, I guess I win for you too, right? So, anyway, let's check out 1.2. Do you know the story of Durin and this mountain? Nope. Snow gathers atop this mountain and it never melts, which is a most curious phenomenon. In it, fact, it's so I weird seeing snow sword in your hand and Genshin. Durin's remains in it. As such, who could I find to help me if not you? Into position, prepare for battle. Getting a little cold. New enemy types, nice. Genius, but I don't think I'm any genius. Moment of birth. My job Not is bad. to honor my contract with Rex Lapis. All hail. Dig in her aesthetic. Stress. Yeah, I really like the, the the ice archer. I made a new discovery while sketching nearby. There's an area up ahead that's quite remarkable. The truth of this world. What could it be? Nice. Yeah, my boy. Oh, it's going to be so nice to travel a different biome. So used to like, you know, nice beaches and, and lush forests. And wide plains. It'll be good. Was the two of us meeting really a good thing? The Chalk Prince and the Dragon. 1223. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Obviously, there's a little bit of content coming in that update. Take a look at these, you know, my, my favorite part is the characters, you know, full stop. I just love seeing the new character reveals. So let's take another look at, at, uh, at our new characters here. Albedo. Many genius. Moment of birth. I do like the, the kind of flash and then the, the blast on the ground. It's pretty sick. My job is to honor my contract. Again, you. Yeah, she looks fucking cool. 
I feel like she would. Uh, she's probably gonna have a lot of fans, and I and I do love the the demon horns coming out of the top there. Yeah, and actually, it's a really good contrast because she's got like the light blue hair, and she's got like the red horns coming out. Excellent, excellent color scheme. Man, they just do such a good job. You know, I've said it so many times, but it's true with the characters. Yeah, totally liking her. That's pretty cool. She freaking. That's cool. She just kind of like summons that or throws it up and it fucking explodes in terms of size and just has it obviously come crashing. Oh, and then she, then icicles. It very much reminds me of the uh, the ice three attack from Final Fantasy four. It's just a bunch of oh my god, stalacites, stalgamites. I can't remember which one are on the roof and which one are on the ground. Just come crashing down. So that reminds me of yeah, awesome looking character. And both of them are five stars from what I know from what I remember as well. And, and I don't know why, but I always just assumed the Dragon Spine area was gonna be like a more of like a oh, kind of like a barren mountaintop. I didn't realize, I don't know why, that it was gonna be in essentially an ice biome, which is cool. You know, that's that's the one thing that Genshin is lacking at the moment, is just a diversity in its it's obviously its biomes, but that's obviously gonna be fixed as we get more expansions and go to different countries. And it's just gonna give, you know, subsequent expansions like more of a unique flavor to them, since they're gonna be probably generally wildly different biomes. So that's cool. Yeah, can't wait. And I mean, aside from the characters, the other favorite part of this Plus game for me is just honestly exploring really. high and low for all the different treasure chests and, you know, little mechanics you can do to, you know, to sprout treasure chests and stuff like that. Or like destroying, you know, certain objects. You know, I, I, I like doing those little things. Very much like, you know, Breath of the Wild. Nah, freaking looks awesome. What do you guys think of the 1.2 trailer? Do either of these two characters, you know, really appeal to you personally? I'm thinking I'm thinking our new archer here does for me absolutely. Anyway, thanks for joining me for this reaction guys. Take it easy.